Hi, greetings everybody. I am Dr. Khandakar Masood Rahman. I am an anesthesiologist and pain specialist. I have done my anesthesia in uh, Scotland, Glasgow Royal Infirmary and then I came here in USA where I was trained in anesthesia residency from SUNY at Buffalo and then I have done a pediatric fellowship at the same place and finally I have done a pain fellowship from the same place SUNY at Buffalo. Today we are going to do uh, make a video uh, for MedPro which will show what is NCV and EMG and our technician will be doing that. NCV and EMG by the name you can understand that where, whenever there is a derangement of nerve conduction velocity like neurological problems NCV is an indication like tingling or like numbness when the patients complain or weakness somewhere then we do NCV and NCV is pretty easy procedure and non-invasive procedure what you have to do is put two electrodes there on a nerve and stimulate the nerve and get the response at a distance and by reading that response uh, a specialist or a subspecialist like a pain doctor or a neurologist can figure out what the problem is going on over there. And uh, there are a lot of indications of NCV and EMG. For the NCVs, the indications could be peripheral neuropathy, could be diagnosis of the suspected generalized neuropathies like diabetic neuropathy or like carpal tunnel syndrome or spinal disc herniation or any kind of traumatic nerve injury, all these things can be helped in the, uh, by the diagnostic procedure, nerve conduction velocity or NCV. Hi, greetings everybody. I am now going to introduce our NCV and EMG technician, Mr. Eugene and our patient Sasha. What uh, Eugene is going to do is uh, perform an NCV which is n a short term of nerve conduction velocity. We try to find out how the nerve is carrying the signal, how fast or slow. By that we can come to a lot of diagnosis. That's exactly what uh, Eugene is going to show you now. And this is a video for MedPro. I'm going to wipe off your skin with alcohol to make sure that there is no any lotion which will cause uh, impedance for the electrodes. Let me place this box on your pants. Now I'm going to stick some electrodes. I'm going to put some gel. Let me place it here. one goes here. Let's move this braces a little bit away from the wrist. Now I'm going to apply electric stimulation to a nerve. It's not painful but it may cause a little unpleasant sensation. It will uh, give some reflex to a muscle in your thumb. So now let me do second stimulation to your elbow. Okay, now we put in the distance. So we got the first reading of your median motor nerve, which is normal. We got normal latency, normal amplitude, and normal conduction velocity. The next step, we're going to record the median motor F waves. We made several simulations and uh, we have a normal latency. Next, we have to replace the electrode on the other muscle to record the next nerve, which is ulnar motor. I'm going to stimulate the wrist. Now 
Next stimulation is below the elbow and above the elbow. Replace the distance. We have normal latency, amplitude, and conduction velocity. We have the reading of this next nerve, ulnar motor. We have normal latency of the wrist below elbow and above elbow, normal amplitudes, and conduction velocity. Now we're going to check the ulnar motor F waves. Okay, we also have normal latencies. Now we're going to check the sensory nerves. We will start from the median sensory. Place the electrode on the second digit and apply stimulation to the wrist. We also have normal latencies, amplitudes, and conduction velocity. Next nerve will be ulnar sensory on the pinky finger. Also apply the stimulation on the wrist. We get normal latency, normal amplitude, and conduction velocity. The last nerve for this upper extremity will be radial sensory. And it's normal.